Hey everybody, this is Eric with JM Turbo Coopers, and today we're going to go uh, go over how to set up a wastegate uh, properly. Um, I've, you know, we ever periodically we get emails from people saying that they their turbo is not making boost, and they don't understand why. So I was going to go. We're going to go over how to adjust it, how to adjust it properly, and some techniques and uh, tricks to adjusting it and monitoring it, and data logging it. The first thing, if you're a tuner and you're up, you're tuning the engine, you really need to do to get like an Android device. I have one here. And then you're gonna need to get an OBD2 Bluetooth dongle, like one of these here, it's an ELM327. And it communicates to the, uh, it's got an OBD2 plug and it communicates to the um, Android device via Bluetooth. And that way you can data log your run to find out how much boost pressure you're making. And that way it'll make it easier to set up the, the, the boost to the exact boost pressure you're making. Uh, most of the time I, we get, uh, or a lot of time we get two calls, either a mechanic's trying to set up a wastegate or a customer and they just installed an upgraded turbo and they're having issues or they bought one of our turbine housings and they're not, the wastegate isn't set up right and they're, they're not making the boost pressure that they were before. Um, there are other things that can cause, cause uh, boost pressure to, you not to make boost pressure like tuning mechanical issues um, things like that however the most common thing and the first thing you probably want to check is the wastegate setup if you if you just install a new turbo and you're not making boost um, properly so we're going to go over the the two different types of boost pressure uh, uh, the wastegates and how to set them the preload on them um, the first thing you need to know that um, on a boost pressure controlled wastegate the spring tension is set in the spring tension is you you have to pull it out so it's in the direction of um, away from the it's in the direction goes in the direction of the hot side of the turbo so if we were having it here you can see that the the wastegate pulls out this wastegate is a vacuum controlled so it actually moves in. So on a boost pressure controlled turbo, we've got the wastegate, which is fully closed and there's a spring tension. So you close the valve and then once the valve is closed, the spring tension will keep it closed until you reach the, the boost pressure range that the spring tension is set to. The, um, in the static position, it's closed. It's set up to operate on boost. So when the boost reaches, say, 5 or 10 PSI, this, this will, the valve or the rod will, will pull, come out. The boost pressure will override the spring and the valve will come out like this and that will open your wastegate and your boost pressure will drop and then you won't overshoot. Um, this is what causes us some confusion with the Mini Cooper and BMW turbochargers is that um, <clears throat> on a Mini Cooper or BMW, the wastegate is actually open in the static or idle off condition, the engine off condition. And it's not until you start the car that the vacuum starts pumping and the vacuum will actually pull the door closed. So when when the turbo comes, you'll see it's open, but uh, when you start the car, the valve will close due to the vacuum, and that's what um, will allow you to reach the boost pressure. Now, on a uh, the difference between a uh, manual and a, uh, uh, or a boost pressure operated and a vacuum operated wastegate is that the fact that the, the vacuum operated, because it is open and it's operated by a vacuum, is on a duty cycle. So to con that means that the stroke, because it's on vacuum, the stroke is full stroke every single cycle. Whereas on a, on a boost pressure operated wastegate, the, the higher the boost pressure, the more valve will open, reducing your boost pressure. On a uh, vacuum operated wastegate, like a Mini Cooper BMW, the uh, valve is rapidly opening and closing um, to lower the boost pressure. So it's just the duty cycle, it does it five ten times a minute for one type, uh, for, you know, uh, it goes, it can be 10 or 100 times a minute, whatever the duty cycle is, whatever it takes to, to keep the pressure regulated going through the turbine so the turbine will spin at the proper speed to make the proper amount of boost. The, the downside to this type of wastegate is that they do wear out a lot faster. So um, if you do have to set a mechanical wastegate, periodically you may have to make small adjustments to keep the boost pressure in the range that it was originally set up for. 
And that's the, that's one of the downsides to having a vacuum operated wastegate. The upside is, is that the ECU has uh, better control and you can actually adjust the boost pressure range simply by um, adjusting the duty cycle. So it's, say if you've got one tune with 10 PSI and you want to uh, uh, run that tune and then you've got another tune with 20 PSI, provided that the wastegate door can stay closed at the boost pressure, um, because when you have 20 PSI in the intake manifold, you've got about 20 or more PSI in the exhaust manifold. So provided that the, the, uh, it can hold the, the door closed, you can run different ranges of boost pressure. Um, so the first thing that to adjust the wastegate, it's, it's quite simple. Um, here we've got a Mini Cooper S Turbo, 2007 to 2010. And um, you can see that there's two nuts here. And the direction that you want to make more boost pressure, you want to close the valve like this. So you want to head towards the, the cool or on the output side of the turbo on the intake side. If you want to make, if you're overshooting boost, maybe there's a, a miss or a knock around 3000 RPMs, you actually want to open the wastegate. And that's in this direction. Now the tips here are is you typically do not want to adjust the nuts on the wastegate more than about a full turn at a time and never close the wastegate. If you have to put enough preload in there to fully close the wastegate, there is a serious engine problem. And either you've got tuning issues, you've got a mechanical engine problem that is preventing the ECU from allowing the boost pressure because it's running in a da very dangerous situation. So you never want to close the wastegate. You never want to put a, a close the wastegate and then tighten the wastegate. That's where people get uh, actually damage the wastegate. You can actually, if you try to set a preload on a vacuum operated wastegate like you do in a boost pressure operated wastegate, you're going to bend this rod and you're going to actually damage the turbocharger. And then you won't be able to make boost because the valve will never close once you set it up again. So you want to, you just want to move the, the rod approximately one turn for about three pounds of pressure. One turn to for one to three pounds of pressure. It depends also on how restrictive your intake system is. A lot of people will buy the intercoolers off of eBay and they have a greater pressure drop on the from one side of the, the intercooler to the other. And that just means that there's a huge restriction inside. So the mechanism is when you want to get uh, on the intake side, when you want to get 20 PSI, you're going to have to output on the other side anywhere from 1 to 10 PSI greater depending on the restriction. On a good intake system, free-flowing, ported um, intake system with a good quality Belltech intercooler or something like that, the pressure drop is going to be somewhere in the range of 3 to 4 pounds. However, on like a Chinese intercooler, you're talking 10 pounds, 10 or more pounds. And what happens is, is to get this side to reach 20, 20 PSI, if you've got a 10 pound restriction, that means you actually have to have, or to get the intake side to get 20 PSI, you actually have to have, with a 10 pound restriction, you actually have to have the turbo outputting 30 PSI. The downside is, is when it's operating at 30 PSI, you're talking about 400 degree intake temperatures. So your intercooler has to be really good. So if there's a big restriction and you don't have a quality intercooler, you're not going to make the power because the timing will be retarded. So when you have 20 PSI here, you've got 20 or more PSI here. So if you're running 30 PSI here to with a 10 pound um, pressure drop across the intercooler, you're going to be running 30 to 40 PSI in the in exhaust manifold. And unfortunately, the vacuum operated wastegates ju are just not strong enough to hold that. So on occasion, you actually have to do a mechanical setup where you will actually adjust the wastegate. And that's what we're covering here. So if you do have, if you are having low boost, like 15 PSI, you just want to uh, loosen the nuts on the aluminum side or the cold, the cold side of the turbo enough to, to push the valve, the valve forward a little bit. It should still be open. You never want to close it. And then you tighten this other side on the other side. Now, um, when you're done, you can, you can, you can check the, uh, the movement. So typically when we set up the turbos on the upgraded turbos, they're set to a half an inch because they have a different wastegate system. 
that's a little bit stronger. On the standard turbo, they, um, they actually have uh, the standard wastegate system. So you want to do right around 5 16 to a half inch. I would stick closer to 5 16 because on the standard turbo, the, the half an inch is just a little bit too great and you may be at the top where you're, you're going to have low boost pressure. So the way you measure this is you pick a point on this, this shaft here, what's something you can see when you're in the car. And for instance, we can use this right here. And if you see it lines up with um, the edge of the, tur the, edge of the uh, turbine housing, and you just push it forward. And when you push it forward, you can see that it's moving approximately about 5 16 of an inch, which is about what you want. On the upgraded turbo, the preload is set to half an inch because it does have a different wastegate system. And so you would want to go a full half an inch. So something like that. And that's just a starting point. Once you uh, start, uh, once you're ready to start tuning your Android device out, your data log, or you put a gauge in and you find out where you are at the at the uh, where you are in the pressure range. If you're overshooting boost around 3,000 RPMs, you need to open the wastegate. If you're undershooting boost, you want to you want to turn the valve or close the wastegate using the nuts until you reach the 20 psi. I would use one full turn to half a full turn at a time. If you end up having it to like five or six turns, there's a mechanical problem. You need to start looking elsewhere for the issue. Um, you know, there's there can be a, a damaged blow off valve in the, as far as the turbo, um, but if there's turbo is spinning freely, it's not contacting the internal components, then it's not the turbo. And the, if the waste, if the blow off valve is, doesn't have a, a diaphragm, a, ba a bad diaphragm, it's not the turbo, you need to look elsewhere. Either you're not getting a vacuum supply, the the um, the wastegate is, or the pressure valve is not operating properly. Uh, you've got a mechanical issue with the engine, say possibly maybe back pressure or bad guides are causing excessive oil to get in the combustion, which will retard your timing. You could be having the wrong spark plugs. You need to upgrade the spark plugs to one time colder, um, things like that. So. Uh, Give us a call if you have any questions on how to set this up. If if you have any you need more information, or if you're having a trouble, or or if you need to um, if you want help, there is some there is some tips on our website, some tech tips that'll help you troubleshoot the turbocharger and why it's not making boost. But uh, feel free to give us a call. The information's on our website. It's jmtcperformance.com, uh, and uh, you can email us at support at jmturbocoopers.com. Anyway, we'll have a great day and, and happy tuning.